to be so terrible today. Um, this is not a haul or anything. It's the start of a vlog. And I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten anything. So I've just got back from Capri. Oh, God. My asthma is so bad. Or oh, anyone that has, like, really bad asthma. You get the wheeze, and then you get this other one that, like, it's like a belt around your chest, and you physically can't take in air. Oh, she's here. I was going to explain everything, but I have to explain it afterwards. We can't see feet. Oh, I just sound my asthma was bad. So, we go this side. This is, that's my ugly side. Um, so, I'm going to be... I'm going to be vlogging today. Um, come in function, make yourself oh. even smaller. My hair needs to oh be my bad. Imagine being this size. Look at your head compared to the size of mine. Oh god, oh how did I come out of your body unless I didn't? Well, I did go to shock. She tells me about the stretch marks that I damaged all the time. So I'm going to be vlogging today. Um, and I have a surprise for you. Do you remember that I said I was going to order something? I can't remember. So I'm going to give it to you now. Um, but then I thought we could, because she said you want to go to Costco, and although I've got loads of work to do, I just can't resist. So oh, it's so good at Costco. Everybody goes Costco. Yeah, so you fill up the trolley, don't you? You get a bit Yeah, because you tell, she tells me to buy swimming pools, hot tubs. She spends like a hundred pounds, and I literally come out of like eight hundred pounds <laughs> worth of stuff. So because um, you're gonna ball. Yeah, oh, no. So this is the first present. It's not really a gift. Um. You know, I went to Capri with Givenchy for the new foundation. Yeah. And she's always telling me she loves foundations. They, this is not like a gift gift. I didn't, I didn't buy it. They gave me all the shades. And because you're lighter than me, it's your perfect oh, shade. Oh, yeah, that's really nice. It's one. the most amazing but foundation. It is, because the last one you and gave look, me. And look, concealers. I know, the last I mean, one you gave me. I mean, you can't have all of them. Let me have a look at one of colour. The last one you gave me, it is so nice. It's quite light. No, it's not under eye. Oh, is it? So bright in your under eye. Oh, I get confused. <laughs> .com. Look at the um, heart brush. I'm afraid you can't have that because it's mine. Oh, I do like that. Yeah, but that's mine. Oh, just having a look. Nice, isn't it? Feels it's nice. It's a special one to use that foundation. Oh. Yep, that's mine. So you're really like that. Move over. I have moved over. You want the whole sofa? You're in the centre. This is a but bit that's where I should be. This is too far. I so said, do not remember what I was going to give you. No, because you always give me stuff. Right, I'm going, you stand, right, close your eyes. All right. And don't open them till I say, I'll no. show you it after. Don't open your eyes, I mean it. Do not open. I've got a feeling now, I know what it is. Do not, not open. open. I'm not opening. Open. Oh, it's amazing. Isn't, isn't it? it beautiful? It's absolute. Oh, I think this is your one. Be very careful with it, though. Oh, oh, it's just beautiful. I love it. I was only thinking to do and come down my hall because mm. all the flooring's been done this weekend. So this is what it is. Yeah, you hold it like that. Um, I'm gonna put his Instagram here, the exact name, and then. I'll go and check on my phone what the name is because I know his name so I talked to him on Instagram but I can't remember the exact name of his um, company. So I discovered this portrait from... Didn't I discover it? Uh, absolutely not. Oh, I just liked it. Uh, Rachel Parcel who is um, one of my favourite bloggers, she lives in Utah. Yeah, did I show you all the houses uh, in Utah? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, I literally want to move to Utah. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Yeah, I know. Do you know, um, I watched Officer and Gentleman the other day, yeah. and he's from Utah. Oh, really? Yeah, you know the one that hang themselves. Oh, great. So, like, positivity and everything. Not just anything. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about that. So, um, yeah, I love her, her blog, and I, like, said on my Instagram that she's one of my favourites, which is quite shocking, because she's very feminine. I think I've been to Utah when I went to Tennessee. Well, did you or didn't you? When I went to Graceland. Maybe you did, I don't know. I don't think you did, but... I think I did. Um, I yeah, she's very feminine and complete opposite style to me, but I really like how genuine she is and I love all of her interior design. So I saw that image in one of her photos 
and I loved it, didn't think nothing of it, and I didn't stop thinking about it for a good few months. And then she posted it again, and I just thought, oh, I have to have it, and I showed my mum it, and I knew she'd feel the same about it as, as I did. It is um, from a Christian artist, and Utah is a very Christian place, it's, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So that is the intention of the artist, um, and we're Christians, aren't we? But um, I, I also don't think you have to be Christian, do you? No, to I don't. appreciate it. it is, that's what I said. It's just so calming. It is. It's not about who it symbolises. Which it can be. It can be if if you're a Christian. Which and we to are. us, it symbolises that. But take that out the aside. Mm. It is just. It's just a beautiful, beautiful picture. And when I looked at it, I just felt, like you said, like really peaceful. And I think it also has to do with something that if you have lost someone, it really gives you that peace of mind that, like, to believe in afterlife. It's about, it shows you love, kindness. When, kindness. When, when no, no, kindness. Oh. I, I, I just looked at it and I just thought, it's everything, absolutely everything. Yeah, that's how I feel about it. And like the the composition and the the colours and the fact that it's like waves and a beach, it's just so peaceful anyway. And I love the colours, but it also deeply means something and you can interpret it in any way, which I guess is what art is. But I just, I just wanted it in my home so that it reminded me of like what you said, kindness, what life is all about, afterlife, um, the religion that we believe in. It also, in. The, because it is, is it obviously symbolises it is Jesus walking on water, mm. it symbolises to me that actually you can do anything. That's exactly what I think. Anything yeah. that you want to, you can achieve. Yeah, and actually, one of the quotes that I, you might not know this, but one of the quotes that I remember from my mum when I was really, really young, she once said to me, you can do anything you want to do if you just believe you can do it. Do you remember yeah, that? Yeah, And she always used to say that to me and it's the one thing that stuck in my head. And I always say as well to anybody oh, is, is if things don't happen the way you want it to happen, there's a reason and later on it down your lifeline, your path, that before. Oh, <laughs> it, I it, that it, it will happen, but it doesn't always mean to say it's going to happen the way you want it to happen right there yeah. and then. And I just wanted to put it a place in my house that everybody else saw and felt welcomed and felt something, hopefully something similar to what I felt. And also just to be a reminder to myself that people we've lost are somewhere happy and there's more to life than this life. And also to believe in anything is possible when you really remember the true meaning of life and to also be kind. That's what that image makes me feel. So I contacted um, the artist and I, I literally just asked him for help on the size for him to give me, does he have an image or a picture so I can look for size reference and if it was also, I knew that he shipped to the UK but I was just asking for him advice on that and I completely was just going to buy it for myself and my mum, I just wasn't sure on the size. He answered me straight away helping me but then he also said, oh I really like your Instagram, I've never like, um, worked or had Did you say not gone outside the exactly US? yes um and it just happened that he kindly actually gifted me this this um what do you call it print yeah but there's a word that he called it the foldable ones for for um that was it because they're canvases and i said that's gonna be a problem probably getting to me but he said they had the Think. Scroll the scroll, the scroll one. <laughs> so I was going to say scroll, but I thought that's too simple. Yeah, no, I don't even know. But and then I said, oh, that's really kind of you. Thank you, but I still want to buy one for my mum. Um, and then he said, which hopefully is exciting for you. He said, I, I've done two giveaways actually. I'm doing the Louise Vera one and now this, and I'm not normally one for giveaways, but when I believe in it. I want to give it to you. So he was really kind and said I'd love to give one of these away to your followers. So if you like this image, don't worry, I'm going to show you it properly later on in the vlog because I thought we could go and get them framed. And my mum had an idea. Was it your idea? What was it? I have to, good ideas. To um, put the quote on it. Was that your idea? I did say, yeah, to put... Um, I bought Claire um, prints in the past. One of them. I don't know if she's ever showed you. No, let me tell them the story. It's you cried. Did I? When I, I, I did think it I did, Christmas. yes. 
It was, um, it's in my flat, and it was, when I worked at Harrods, there was a room that used to be called Designer Studios that doesn't exist anymore, and they had this print on the wall, and I used to look at it all day long when I was at work, and it's like of a Barbie, where you've just seen it, I've just showed you, and I loved it so much, and I went to the art department in Harrods, and it was so expensive, wasn't it, it was like 20,000 yeah. or something, and I just sent the picture to my mum, saying I love this, she found the artist, found a print version, um, and then got... I got. Do you uh, remember what you said? Yeah, I got a shabby chic frame. Yeah. In, in them when I was in shabby chic. Yeah, but it, I couldn't get the right size, so I had to buy a mirror, take the glass out, put the. Uh, I think it was just called Barbie, and you put that. I know I put Claire, and I put the day. I have a check. And it says. And then when you won't do it Christmas Day, you cry. Yeah. So she had the idea that we go out today, or well, when we get it, to get it framed, and. I'm going to I put said a you've on got yours. Yeah, but you've got to think of it, and like you said, you're going to give a giveaway. I think you've got to have a meaning what it means to the person. Yeah, and you don't have to justify it to me what it means or anything. Just mm -hmm. if you see this this print and it will it will be something that gives you brings you joy, has a meaning and something that will bring you joy and meaning every day. Then I would love you to just literally write your name in the comments so I can contact you and everything. Um, like you'd probably have to leave a contact detail so I can contact you so I don't do many giveaways um, and he didn't ask you to follow him but I think it would also be I'd like to pick someone that's also supporting the artist because he has some amazing I showed you didn't I yeah. all the angels oh that was lovely yeah he has some really amazing work and he's such an amazing kind guy he really takes the time to listen to everyone's story and he really wants to know what what, what his work means to you so I would like to pick someone that's going to support him just by following his Instagram page. He didn't ask me to do that, but I think that's nice that, you know, he's doing this kind thing for us and, and for you. So I'd like you to follow his Instagram, which I'll leave in the description box. So you do have to be follow, uh, following my Instagram and YouTube um, for me to be giving back to you something. But yeah, most of all, I just want to give it to someone. Maybe it doesn't have to be as deep that you have lost someone and is something that you need right now it can just be something that you want to see every day uh, but yeah he's kind of giving me one everybody would love it i think you would I, as well i do and like i say we we see the christian value in it but i also think you you don't have to personally i don't think be a christian to to get a message from it um so should we go out and get the plaque? We're going to get a, like a plaque for each other and I'm going to put something on hers and she's going to put something on mine. That's not... pressurising. Yeah, I know. Because think... you might not like it. It's no, not but on I it don't think... day. Yeah, but I don't think we should get the plaque today. I think we should look at the picture and think about it. Because right. I have been thinking things. Because don't get... See, I think I know what I want to put on mine. But You've got all day to think about it. I want something to eat first. Me too. I'm so hungry. So, um, and then maybe you can give it to someone else. Um, with a message and do the same as us or maybe you can get the giveaway and buy another one he has all different sizes there is a limit on the size giveaway because some of them are huge and over a thousand pound i don't even have the biggest one so i wanted to put um this is like 15 minutes long oh is it yeah i want to put i'm gonna i'm gonna show you where i'm gonna put it later because i don't want to bore you talking anymore but um i will show you it later what's that well, i thought i'd sit up probably <laughs> Because you did. Yeah, because I've been slouching the whole way through. So yeah, all the contact details will be in the description box and we'll get something to eat and then we'll go and get a frame. It's happened again. I don't know how this happens. I went in very confident. <laughs> Love, I don't want any more stuff. Please. You can actually just say me. <laughs> Mum. Oh, no, you want I'm not coming with oh. you again. <laughs> it's all weird. She spent £13 and I spent £300. I'm going to rip my handbag and it's got the car keys. <laughs> Where's the keys? You wanted all this stuff, Mom, Claire. You I you made me you. buy that street I light. <laughs> she made me get that. I nearly bought like a wisteria and a pot. And I said, I'm not buying anything. I'm not getting anything. I don't... Your bag's here. I said I don't need anything. This is soaking wet. We couldn't get anything in the car because she's got all baby seats. We had it's pouring of rain. Look at that. We had to get some man that was so nice. He moved all the baby seats in the boot, in the boots. Put this street light. Could you imagine if we bought that frog thing for the garden <laughs> and the tree? 
You think we had for all them trees we I were going to get? I thought we had my big car. <laughs> that man was really nice. He was he nice. He did everything for us. We were. When I, I have this I'm thing that when I when I laugh, I get the gig. Um, when I get from <coughs> heavy, I get the giggles, and we've got the Jesus, Jesus picture in the back because we were meant to get it framed. Now we don't have time to go and get it framed, so to make sure we didn't squash that. Now she's asking to go, uh, go IKEA. I mean, where are you even going to put these pots? It's not buy a pot. IKEA? You know, you know in I'm my not kitchen, going in there. Right, right, you know the kitchen. Please, Claire. No, ma'am, I'm I'll not going. I'll do anything for you. I don't, right, do you mind clean my house then? <laughs> See, look, I no, thought so. No, why don't you sit in a car? It's the I little... I don't want to. She right, said it's sit it's in the, the little car black, and I'm going. I'm, 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 I'm the governor. Wet. I'm the governor today. Mum. What? I'm not going I mean, to Ikea, I mean no, it. No, you're not I'm going. being serious. I'm not going there. You're not going in there. I'm running I'm in by the I'm not sitting in the car in the rain. You know, by the market. No, by, by, no, 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 no because you'll come out with like a bed or something. <laughs> You know the teals? Mum, I don't care. Do you remember the plastic pots? You asked me to come to the pot. Yeah, exactly. You're just copying <laughs> a pot. I'll give you one of mine, yeah? But what pot have you got and what am I talking about then? The ones that I have in my kitchen drawer to have all organised. Yeah, I've you got them. No, you haven't got uh, them. You, uh, you have not. <laughs> no, you lying so right. Mum, I have You're them. Flipping. I swear. You want to look at the Jesus picture and say sorry. Mum, I swear I'm going to show you all at home my organisers from Ikea. The white plastic ones that go in the kitchen. Yeah, that's them. I discovered <laughs> <laughs> I discovered them and you, I've got to put my seatbelt on and you copied me and I'm I'm not going to Ikea. I only want a few. No, I'm not going. You said to me so I want to go to... Me. Yeah, because you said come to Costco with me. You've made me spend all that money I on, a, make you, on I a, a, a street lamp that I do not need. I can tell And all you. this toilet roll. But, uh, how many times did I take? Oh, look at all no, this. No, Mum. Primark or IKEA. Take your choice. Oh. You, you, Mom. you said, you Mom. said. Oh Primark or IKEA, and I mean it. You've been strict. I am, because I've had enough. I've got things to do. I've got lines to do. Well, then we can't just have a. I've not even got my seatbelt on. I've got petrol, I don't have to get Mum, look at me. Hang on, I'm going to. Primark or IKEA. Sorry. Primark or IKEA. I'm getting confused. Mum, we can't fit one single pot in this car. Right, is the, you, we're not talking about a plant pot. I'm talking about the organising plastic kitchen thing that you put all your Mum, I don't in. know. Like, no yeah. means no, I'm not going. Yeah, but I'm in charge. I bought you a Jesus picture. I got you foundations. I gave birth to you. <laughs> we're not going to like here. I'm back. Um, didn't have time to do the framing, but me and my mum decided that we're actually going to do that online because it just makes more sense and carrying it around, I was worried about breaking it. Um, I started cleaning my kitchen, but like properly cleaning my kitchen, that's why I look a mess. I picked all my nails with all the um, cleaning products. And I am using organic cleaning products, it's been a lot better for my cleaning. Uh, breathing sorry but I kind of I still have other products that I need to use basically so I've put some washing on and instead of just filming you something glamorous tomorrow like my house all clean I'm actually going to show you so I got in the mood to just clean out my fridge because I bought lots of um, just organizers and stuff like that so this is what it currently looks like I basically pull everything out obviously take all the bits that are um, what's the word? Expired. I put all of the. I'm not gonna put my hand in this. It's really hot. I soak it in fairy liquid. All of the trays. I wash them up. I put them in the drainer. This is from Next, by the way. A lot of people ask me about that. Um, and then while it's draining, I take the other half out. So I've cleaned up this side. And now I need to just tackle the middle. And it only looks like this because I live with a man that is. He's so annoying, like he'll leave, he'll leave that in with, with nothing in it. I, I assure you that that is probably about three weeks out of date. And no matter how much I try and keep it nice, I always put all the Diet Cokes in line, everything in order, and it looks like that a day later because he's just, I mean, like, look at that. He knows I can't stand that, and he's done that, and it's probably been left there for ages. So all of this will probably be all of I think it's a foreign thing, like my Italian uncle is like that. You have to double check everything that you eat. Um, I can already see rotten carrots in there, so whilst, whilst he's busy, I'm going to chuck away all the food that's off. 
and I just can't wait to come down in the morning and make a coffee and it'll all be nice. So I'm going to pop this there and um, all the bits that I'm checking will go there. Why is it working out? Ah, ah, ah. I put my. What do you call them? What do you call them? They're, they're Greek, so I can't remember. They're uh, probiotics, that's it. No idea what that is. That can go. They're probably off. I do not know why there's paracetamol in there. Oh, and another tip I do I wash one side first. Um, and leave it to, ha uh, to to dry because otherwise I get confused with what what goes where. So I'm just going to take everything out. I basically use soapy water and sometimes the spray if I need it. It's really bad. That went off in April. It is now mid May. It's just gross. Oh, it's like living with an animal. I'm telling you. I know we're doing a cleaning haul. Well, we're not doing a cleaning haul. I made that up. I have got the most amazing pair of shoes. Where can I put you? This is just too low and ridiculous. Hmm, where can I put you? Oh, I wonder if that will work. Put you in my night before. Bit um, dark, but that will do. Okay, so for those of you that are very confused by my channel, I look awful, I don't even have any lipstick on, but I'm cleaning. Who puts lipstick on to me? Um, what are we talking about? Right, so a lot of people get confused by me, um, but this is just me and I'm not going to pretend to be anyone different. I come from humble beginnings. I never forget the times when, you know, my only pair of shoes I could afford were Lindsay. This is not a pay partnership or collaboration or anything. Um, Lindsay, for those people outside the UK, is a very affordable Lerman shoe brand the shoes are like seven pound to 25 pound max ish i didn't see any more than 25 pound and i remember when i used to go and buy them and i would pop off to my nearest town get on the bus or my banged up fiesta and i'd wear them on a night out and i just i will never forget that and to this day i love the fact that i haven't forgot where i've come from and i'm not saying this for no other reason than why people get confused about me i do wear hermes bags and i have this whole chanel wall and yes that i have worked so hard to get to that point and i love it and i'll continue to buy that but i stand by the fact that if i like a dress for five pound i will wear it and love it and this is a prime example and some people that follow me for luxury they get very confused when i'm wearing something very cheap or using like a drugstore product but i like what i like and if I like something inexpensive, there is no reason why you shouldn't ever buy that. Just wear what you like and actually mix in high end with low end. It's creative and it gives it personality. So I literally buy what I like. Me and my mum were walking around Lakeside because that's where Cosgo is and we popped over because she wanted to go to Primark. And I thought, yeah, I haven't been there for a while. I'll see if I find your thing. I'll go and show you some baskets that I got that were amazing. Just what I was looking for. I'll show you that in a second. It's turned into like a cleaning haul. Um, and we, I was saying, me and my mum were saying, how are these shopping malls surviving? Like, you can get everything you want online, and it's just exhausting. We walk past, and I see these in the window. You're gonna, you're gonna love me, I'm certain. If you like Chanel and you like this, my style, you're going to die. I saw these. Look how well they're packed. I saw these in the window. Hello? I mean, hello, they are unreal. So for those of you that love Chanel and know Chanel, they had these, like that in Chanel. I bought some myself. Um, I'll try and find a picture. I didn't buy these ones. Um, I was amming and ahhing because they were a thousand pounds and they were like a plank, plank of wood and they were ever so uncomfortable. Or trust me, they were like a plank of wood. Then they brought out the mermaid ones and I bought them and I paid like 1,100 1, for them. 
and I ended up taking them back because it was like a plank of wood and I just thought I know the high street are going to bring them out and I loved the design but there was no need to buy them in Chanel I just I just didn't feel like cost per wear it was worth it so I took them back I then bought some off Revolve that looked like that they were identical. I paid £121. I paid all the custom charges. They never arrived. So I walked past and I saw these. And I thought it said 125 and I didn't even know it was Lindsay's. I wasn't even looking. And I was like, well, that's a bit much. But that is what I paid for the Revolve ones. I really don't like that. But let's go try them on. And I realised it said £25. So I go in. Me and my mum try them on. This bit is so comfortable. Let me, let me quickly show you them. Actually, let me get the other ones out. So me and my mum were in there, you know what we're like. We were like, oh, I love them. They're amazing. And now I know where I get it from with the whole two thing. I said to the lady, I'll take a pair, size six for me and a size four for my mum. And she was like, Claire, get another pair. They're so amazing. You know, you can keep one at your flat or south of France. So I bought two pairs. Um, so that's where I get it from. And I bought my mum a pair. Let me show you what they look like. They look so amazing. They're so comfortable and they were £25. Don't judge me, I'm doing my cleaning. I can also show you my new rug I bought. So this is my new rug. I bought it from HomeSense. It's absolutely incredible. I mean, it's a real shame it's not bigger for this hallway because it fits perfectly. But I actually bought it for my bedroom. So these are the new shoes. I'm sorry, but how mega are they? they are so comfortable i can't tell you how comfortable they are they're, they're going to be my new pedicure shoes they look so good with my leggings i'm over the moon with them and i'm glad i got two pairs actually they are so comfortable and if you can find them online if i can find them online i don't even know if lindsay has an online shop but i'm going to link them for you but anyone that lives near a lindsay you need to go buy these in bulk i do not work with them um, I'm just showing you an amazing find. They're so amazing. My mum was so happy with the ones that I bought her. Don't judge my house and cleaning. Obviously, you have to have a dirty house in order to clean it. Um, and I also bought these, which I know are very Essex. I must have got carried away being in Essex. But they're just fun and they were 13 pounds. Don't judge me. They look nice on. And I just, I don't know. Me and my mum just having a girly moment. But they were £13 and they're just a bit of fun. And actually with tanned feet on holiday, um, I actually just thought they were really cute. I just, I just really liked them. Let me show you these ones on. They were £13. You can't really go wrong. So I bought these for my mum and I as well. Let's go and try them on. This rug is actually amazing, isn't it? I'm going to try and get another one in a bigger size. That's the product code. I'm not sure if you can see that. And it was £40 from HomeSense. So I just think like they really glitter out for £13 and how comfortable they are. I just think they're really great for by the pool with like a rose gold shell and clear. It's not my normal style and I wouldn't wear these like out for dinner or anything. I mean, I actually probably would. Um, but they're so comfortable and I just think they're really nice for the beach and I love the rose gold. So I just want to have a prompt interruption for these. I love my rug so much. It looks so expensive, doesn't it? It's very small but it's perfect for my bedroom so yeah i'll try and link them in below but if not i'll put all the details below let's get back with the cleaning do not judge my um utility room but it's just a normal utility room i'm doing all my washing so me and my mum are going to clean tomorrow but i've been looking for some baskets like this the real wicker ones they're a bit too woody to put like clean washing in but all the other baskets that I found were too plasticky, like that. I mean, that's just a general washing basket that I use. That's all my ironing that I'm going to do in a minute. Um, yes, I found these in Primark. They were quite expensive, actually. They were, there you go, 18 pounds. I think it's really expensive for a plastic basket. They're still quite country looking and my house is a country house. Um, so yeah, they do the job. It's just for all my um, clean underwear and socks, you know, when you have to pair everything up, a few pajamas in there just to tidy it all up and I'm going to tackle all this washing tomorrow but just another great find from Primark. This is not the kind of um, video I wanted to do at all. I wanted to just focus on the, the, the portrait that I had and focus on the giveaway um, and then do a nice vlog of me and my mum getting the plaque made but I'm just doing it in real time. This is what happened today. We got 
all Costco'd out and now I'm cleaning and hopefully I can show you the house tomorrow all clean. I'll show you where I'm going to put the portrait. So I guess it's all related. The portrait, I actually realised that when I looked at it, it goes with all of the colours I've got in my favourites folder on the Desenio website, you know that print website. And I've just never known which ones to get and where I want to put them. But that's really helped me figure it, figure it out what I want to do. That portrait is so sensational and such a focal point. I'm going to keep it on its own. But I'm going to keep the, the colours flowing. Like the peaches and the, the beach waves. I'm going to make it all flow. So that's really helped me pick which ones I'm going to order. And I'll definitely show you what I'm going to order for those. But now I'm just distracting myself. And I need to um, finish off with this cleaning. Fast forward an hour later, I'm still doing it. I'm listening to this, one of my favourite albums. I literally love it. Um, what else happened? I'll show you the fridge. So I'm waiting for that. I mean, interesting. I'm waiting for this to all dry. This is what it looks like. It's taken me over an hour, but you know when you really want to scrub something. So that's done. Uh, just popped an in a picture on Instagram from our last night in Capri. So go check that out. And now I'm gonna pop all this away and get on with the ironing. So I just opened my delivery and she literally took it off me and put it on. It's because it's so lovely. It's meant to be cropped with high-waisted jeans, but because you're small, it's actually the perfect size. Look at all this. No, but that's what I'm saying Isn't to you. it lovely? It so Mum, show them the black. I've also got white as it's, well. It's so hard So this is get. from this is from mum move over there because you're out the shop this is from elbow attire it's a really affordable brand and they actually did one like this in chloe a couple of years ago so as soon as i saw it i had to have it i uh, there was none of this on iron and ml so i messaged her and she found one i just dm'd her on instagram and she kindly gifted me it she's gifted me um a top before do you think they'll have any more of this color well, it wasn't online and I DM'd her, so I'll DM her again now and then I'll get yeah. you one. Isn't it lovely? Oh, it's, really it's 30 pounds and it looks so expensive. I, it, it, but it feels nice. I mean, I've got two jumpers on. I've got two jumpers on, so it doesn't look quite Well, right. you can't have it because I'm take it to, taking it no, to town. No, I'll, I'll buy one. I'll message her now and I've got it in white. They're absolutely amazing. I'll leave the link below for them because they're just so nice. nice with white jeans. I just think with all black, even with jeans. So we've been doing the cleaning, we're nearly there. Just wanted to show you these tops before. Oh, bye then. Bye. <laughs> so that's the brand, and that is my white one. What's she doing? Don't touch my lemons. Oh, I've just had an Lowe's. When did your delivery arrive? I don't it? know, they said probably um, start of next week. Because What's your favorite? I like it all. I mean, oh, that looks so good, like I know. this with the lemons. Not with the jumper. So I've already showed you these in my Capri. I did like a Capri haul when I came back. So I'll link that one below to tell you we all about this. We bought these over a week ago now, so. No, but this video is not gonna go out for a while. So probably like three weeks by the time this goes out. I don't know what my favorite thing is. So this one, mm, yeah, but look, I actually no, these. I, I, I like them. I bought these from the lemon shop that's by the taxi place. That, um, I think that's a really popular one, but everything else is from this super duper amazing shop. That's the one where I saw Valentino. So all of these, I just love that, isn't it amazing? But look at these, I what know. will you put in them? Well, I bought enough lemons to like mix and match. So I'll put the lemons in the shells. I thought I could put fruit in the shells. I'm just going to mix and match it. And then I've got more of these coming. Uh, like bowls and plates for the summer. But this is unusual, it's like a basket. So these, so these I actually bought, I'm telling you, I'm repeating my haul. So when I go to a hotel, I love putting my jewellery on the side because they always have trays. So these will be for like my earrings that I'm wearing all the time. And these for like the sunglasses. So I'm going to put them oh, on my dressing idea, table. Yeah. And I, and I got these for the exact same reason. I'm just to mix around. So me and my mum. No, me, being directed by you, where everything goes, and you moaning that you've got no room for shoes. And bags. And bags. And clothes. Because it's like, oh. I'm collecting a few bits myself. So I think, now we've done the bags. Mm -hmm. Well, I haven't organised them, I just... No, but I'm going to pick my... Th I'm not a baggy person. 
So I'm going to pick my favourite five. If I was going into a store to Wait. pick... Okay, yep, yeah, carry on. So basically, I just spotted this one, and it's a new bag. Um, and I thought I haven't revealed it to you, but what I'm going to do is film a video revealing this, so you would have already seen it. That was in my top five. Oh, so my mum asked me, she wants to pick her top five, and I pick my top five. So shall I pick my top five? Sorry, I've got something again. So my mum said she wants to pick her top five bags, and I pick my top five. Okay. Right, so coming in at number five, mm -hmm. for me, would be... Oh, no, because I like that one. Ooh. Probably that one. Really? Yves Saint Laurent. I love that bag. I really do. That's quite your generation yeah. vibe. It's an 80s type bag. Exactly, yeah, that's why you like Definitely it. me. Shut that door a bit, Mum. Oh, you sound like Larry Grace. Shut that door. Um, Don't be too long. We can't what? have like a 20 minute right, sorry. Lorna picking her favourite right, bag. Number four, number four, number four. Come on. This one. Oh, the Kelly. Yeah. Good choice. Number three has to be this one. What's that one called? The Chanel. Trendy. Trendy Chanel, a bit like me. Um, can I just add that my mum's never bought a bag in her life? She really isn't that bothered. <laughs> uh, so, so far, I'm really impressed with your picks. You buy my bags, that's why. What else? So, I'm on number three. That's got to be number two. Oh, that's so annoying because I nearly got you that grey one next to it. You do know that, don't you? No. It was Did I not tell you that? Grey. No, I was going to So, you know I got grey. you the Prada bag? That was actually going to be what I, yeah. I, I got that for you, basically. This, yeah, I was going to pick this one. I basically got that bag for you, but you know, going by what you put. I love the chain. But you know what you put in your bag? Flip flops, two pairs of sunglasses. And you've got what, to guess. What's the winner? What is it? Because I love it. Absolutely oh, I don't love know. It. I about it and I. Um, I'm staring right at it. You've stared at it, Claire. Oh, the Pochette Matisse. Which one's that? Louis Vuitton bag. This. Yeah. This is my ultimate. See, for me, if I was to buy you any bag, it would be that. I just, I just. I it's like so size. practical. Yeah, it's perfect for you. It's light. I like this. Look. You can hold it like that. Yeah, it's perfect for you. And you've got the strap. Okay, so let's do oh, my. Oh. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to save it for a video. Okay. So I am going to film. I do like this size. Claire's this, top five bags. One on a chain, yeah. I'm going to do one for you actually. I think I'm going to make it a proper video and I'm going to pick my five top bags. I mean, it's pretty impossible. Oh, <laughs> say that again. I said, what would you say I would least go for? And she said, seen dead? And she said, there's quite a few. So shall I pick them? I think you don't like that Dior bag, the blue one. What one's that? The bright blue one on the left. I don't think you like, like that. this one? Yeah. No, I love that one. Um, no, I do like that one. I love the colour. I'm quite offended. The ski bag. Where's that? The knitted Chanel. Oh, God, yeah, that's awful. But that's my wedding bag. I know, but I don't like the Cinder. Nathan me, bought me that. Me, I know, who? Nathan bought me that as my wedding gift. Oh, it reminds me of, um, obviously, Pretty Woman. Pressure That's of why we name. bought it. Pressure of a name. We were joking about it. He yeah. found the bag and it has meaning. Yes, I know, but it's no meaning for me. All right. But I do like it because, it's not my list because of Pretty Woman. Right. If I was going, I wouldn't, that, I'm not going to count them two because they're No, no, like, no, exactly. They're, they're like, like sentimental bags. Right, okay, it's got to be the ski thing. Right. Reminds me of Eddie the skier. Quick, I've got no battery. Right, Hurry up. That, Oh, I love that. Oh, no, it's too, like, girly. Oh. That. What? Yeah, I'm not a pinky person. Pink that's Chanel bad. bag. That. I th that's my proposal bag. Yeah, but it's, I know that. I'm saying me. But you said I like the rose I gold do. dress with the pink Chanel bag. I do, I do. But I... Right, one more, because I've got no battery. Oh, it's okay, flashing. Okay, okay, That. You're just rude. <laughs> I'm so offended. <laughs> no. Are you joking? What? That blue one. I wore that with the baby blue dress in Capri and it but looked lovely. It does look lovely. What's your problem with it then? It's not, I haven't got a problem with it, but if you if I said to you my pick my five that I would never buy, they would well, be Well yeah, five. because I wouldn't buy them as my th top five bags because well, they're not a classic. 
But I mean, the white Chanel bag's really nice. I love this. This is Mom. my favourite style Chanel. Yeah, me too. Put it back though. <laughs> um, quickly, what's happening with our frames? Because I really thought we were going to order frames tonight. No, we're not going to order them. I want to go. I like to view them. No, I, I think that's the wrong one because. Well, I can't do it tonight. Are you leaving me? Yes, I've been with you all day. Uh, uh, Glyce clock blue. Excuse me. What? Is that yours? No, I just found it in the corner. So I've got some pixie products in the bathroom. Oh, is that face masks? Yes. I need them. You will make sure you use them because you've got so many everywhere out of date. Oh, I'm having this. I want that. No, no, I want this. Uh, I found it. Was it you always say? Oh, glow oh. face mask. Lose it. Um, you lose. You snooze, you lose. Right, you can have that, that lot then. What's that? I can't. Some got glasses on. Oh, it's a face mask set. Oh, we'll have it. Do you want it? No, I pick these ones and you can have those ones. I don't know what I'm getting. That's a polish and pill. You need that. Do I? Yeah. Oh, do I need everything. What's that one in the tub? I don't know, I haven't got glasses on. Detoxify. I need to do Depuffing detox. eye patches. Oh, that's me. No, I need that one, oh, Mum. Okay. So all I've Why don't we share it? I've ended up with the brush. <laughs> I found the box. No, I'm giving you the other one with all the stuff in that you wanted. What the bag? Mm. Oh, you can have these things. I just no, you want can have bag. those. But mum, why don't we do face masks tonight? No, I can't tonight. Stay with me. I've got my being Go done. in the morning, please. No. Mum, we'll do lovely don't face masks, me. please. I can't. I, I want to be there for my floor. What about doing a face mask tonight? I can do it. Why can't you do it another night? Any other night, I want I want to be there for the flooring. I really do. Um, no, you would be. No, it's, actually, it's I wouldn't. Wonderful. You would. If you was having all your... The men yeah, but you can just go in the morning. Yeah, but I need to organise everything, Claire. I really do. Don't She's just got her serious eyebrows on. <laughs>